guys, Mir here, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this adorable jellyfish amigurumi pattern. This is a very easy pattern to make, and you can make this if you are a beginner, and I think it is just so adorable. You can also make a multicolored one by just using different colors for the legs, or you can stick to solid colors. In order to make today's pattern, you are going to need some chunky yarn, scissors, a yarn needle, a crochet hook, stitch markers, safety eyes, and polyfill. Let's get started. We are going to be starting off by making a magic ring. six single crochet in it. Three, four, five, and six. And we're going to pull the magic ring shut. All right, I'm going to add the stitch marker to that stitch on your hook. I'm going to begin the second row by doing an increase in every stitch all the way around. For row three, we are going to be doing one single crochet and then an increase. And you're going to repeat one single crochet increase all the way around. I finished row three and now we are going to be moving on to row four. For row four, we are going to be doing two single crochets and then an increase. And you are going to repeat this all the way around. For row five, we are going to be doing three single crochets and then an increase and we are going to repeat this all the way around. Now for rows six through ten we are going to be doing single crochets all the way around. So one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for five rows. After you've completed your five rows of single crochet, this is what it should look like. For row 11, we are going to be doing one, two, three single crochets, and then we are going to decrease. To decrease, I like to put my hook in the front loop only of one stitch and then put my hook in the back loop only of the next stitch, pull through and pull through and finish like a single crochet. So we're going to do that all around. One, two, three single crochets and then a decrease. So I'm gonna put my hook through the front loop only of one stitch back loop only of the second stitch, pull through both, and finish like a single crochet. For row 12, we are going to be doing two single crochets and then a decrease. And you are going to repeat that all the way around. For row 13, we are going to be creating the frills around the bottom of the jellyfish. In order to make these frills, we're going to start by chaining three. So one, two, three. And then you're going to go in to the first stitch like normal, but only go into the front 
loop. So there should still be a back loop. So you can see that stitch I would normally go into. I'm not going all the way in, only the front loop. And then you're going to slip stitch. Then again, I'm going to chain three, go into the front loop only, and slip stitch. So chain three, go into the front loop only, and slip stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way around. All right, now that you have finished row 13, you should be able to notice that there is this frill. So, for row 14, you are going to be going into the back loop from row 13. So, if you look at this, you should be able to see there is a line that looks like stitches, and it is one loop that you can go into. So, you are going to go directly below, and you should see a loop you can put your hook into. And you're going to single crochet into that loop, and then into the next two loops, we're going to be doing a decrease. So it is a single crochet decrease all the way around, but in the back loops from row 13. So in order to decrease in just having two stitches with just one loop in them, you're going to stick your hook into the first loop and pull through. So now you have two loops on your hook. Then you're going to put your hook into the second stitch, pull up a loop. Now you have three loops on your hook and you're going to pull through them all and that's how you're going to decrease for that one. So then you're going to do a single crochet and then a decrease where you go into the first stitch, pull through a loop, second stitch, pull through a loop, and pull all three together. And you're going to repeat that pattern of one single crochet and then a decrease all the way around. After row 14, you can pull through some yarn so that any of your work doesn't come undone. And we are going to be placing the safety eyes in between rows eight and nine. So I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to be putting the safety eyes in between rows eight and nine. And I'm going to be putting it one, two, three, four stitches apart. Then I'm going to put the back onto the safety eyes. And now we can stuff our project. I'm just going to take my polyfill and place it into my creation until it is filled to its complete shape. Now that my jellyfish is all stuffed, I can pull tight the loop and to finish off the head, we are going to decrease all the way around. All right, I have finished row 15, and now I'm going to just cut my yarn and tie it off. Then to sew up this hole, I am just going to take my yarn needle tie my yarn around it, and then go into the stitch across from it and pull through, go through the stitch across and pull through, and go from the other stitch across and pull through. Then you can just tie it off and cut. Then I'm just going to hide my tail by sticking in my hook and pulling it through my creation and then cutting it. Now that we have created the head of the jellyfish, we are going to be making the tentacles. For the tentacles, we are going to be starting 
with a slip stitch. For a slip stitch, you just make an O, pull through the piece of yarn that attaches to the ball of yarn, and then pull through to tighten. I'm gonna put my hook through the loop, and we are going to chain 25. And then, in order to make the tentacles curl up, we are going to skip a stitch, go into the second loop from the hook, and do a half double crochet. You are going to continue half double crocheting in each stitch all the way until the end of the row. All right, I'm half double crocheting into the last stitch. And by the time you reach the end of your row, you should notice it's sort of starting to spiral up. That's what we want. We are going to cut our work, leaving a tail to tie in onto our jellyfish for later. And you're going to tie it off. Now you have two strings and that's how we're going to tie it on. But before we tie it on, you're sort of going to encourage the spiral a bit more just by twisting it. And then you should have a tentacle. And you're going to repeat this eight more times until you have a total of nine tentacles. I finished making the rest of the legs and I now have a total of nine legs. Now I'm going to be showing you how to sew them on to the head. So grab the head of your jellyfish and set it upside down. I'm going to take one of the tentacles. You can use your sewing needle for this. A sewing needle will take a lot longer though. Or you can use your crochet hook. I will show you how to do both. So if you're gonna use your crochet hook, I'm just gonna go right in the middle. And I am just going to stick my crochet hook through one of the stitches. Then I'm going to grab one of the two strings on my tentacle, put it on my crochet hook, and pull it through. Then you will see you have this string. You're going to go into the stitch directly beneath where the yarn is. You are going to grab the yarn with your hook and pull it through. Now you just have two strings and you are going to double knot them. And then you can hide your tails by going through your jellyfish, wrapping them. You can do wrap them around one at a time or all together and pulling it through to the other side and then trimming it. So that is one way to attach a tentacle. The second way is using a yarn needle. And this takes a bit longer, but whatever you want, you are going to attach your yarn to the yarn needle. Tie it on there. And then you can pick any spot, go through with your yarn needle, and pull your tentacle through. Then you can undo your knot or trim it, but make sure you trim it just to where the knot will come undone. You want to leave enough yarn to tie and hide in your tails. Then you're going to do the same with this piece of yarn. You're going to tie it. Go through another stitch, pull through. Then you can tie a knot.
and you can hide it with your needle like this. Just go through somewhere and pull and then trim. Or you can hide with your crochet hook by going into a stitch and popping your crochet hook up right by that yarn piece, grabbing it with your crochet hook and pulling it through to the other side and then trimming. So that is how you attach the tentacles. You can use whatever method you want to attach the remaining tentacles and I will meet you back whenever you're done. All right, once you've finished sewing on all your tentacles, your jellyfish is complete and should look like this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for this adorable jellyfish and that you enjoyed making this pattern. That's all for now. Mir out.